Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and yes, uh, the Lenovo Yoga 3 Pro performance review, which is actually a first for me, actually doing a performance review for you guys for any particular laptop or uh, device. Uh, so it's a little new to me. Uh, I need some feedback for you guys to see if you like, if you guys like it or not. Leave it at the bottom of the comment section. I'm always looking for some feedback to make these videos a little bit more useful for you guys. So I'm actually recording this on the laptop itself. Awesome. Um, as you can see, the fast boot on this laptop is amazing. The reason why the fast boot on this laptop is amazing is because it's running a solid state drive and solid state drives are awesome for the reading and writing and that's, that's why you get the fast boot. You most likely see solid state drives on Mac laptops as well. So let's get started. I actually purchased and I have the Adia 64 Extreme application to perform some of these uh, benchmark and some you know, performance stuff for you guys. So, and I also have like a list of stuff that I'm gonna do for you guys, right? Uh, so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna go inside the computer node and let's run it overclock. So let's see how fast the overclock speed on this particular laptop is. The original is 1100 megahertz and right now the overclock is 63 to 64 percent and it keeps on going up and down which is not that bad uh, the CPU clock right now is 1795 megahertz which is pretty it's, it's not that bad now this laptop is running an Intel processor M and uh, later on I'm gonna give you guys my own review on this laptop because I kind of got some pros and cons a lot of, I got a lot of pros and cons dealing with this laptop and the performance so Stay tuned for that. Uh, what's the next one that I would like to show you guys? Uh, computer sensor is another one that's pretty cool. So let's check out the sensors. So it's detecting all the sensor information right now. Uh, I, I have noticed when I put this laptop into like intense uh, rendering, like I render like a huge file uh, and the cooling system on the processor was amazing. It, it kept itself between 65 to 70 uh, degrees in Celsius which is not that bad. It, it wasn't extremely hot. Uh, I did notice that the back part of the machine did get hot eventually, but the performance, the lack of the rendering didn't, didn't it, I didn't lose that. So that's awesome. Uh, let's, what's next? Oh, computer power management. This, this is always a plus, which again, at my review video, I'm going to show you guys a nice little chart of uh, the life of the battery and also the life of the charging of the battery with this particular laptop. Now the Yoga 3 Pro, I'm, I, I was kind of disappointing on the battery life. Uh, I was I was actually impressed of how the charging wise is really fast charging. But again, you guys got to check out that review video. Uh, next thing is storage smart. So let's go into the storage and let's run a smart report. And the uh, smart report just basically identifies that it is a uh, solid state drive. This is the model of it. It is running a solid state drive. Uh, let's do a benchmark of the processor. So I like to do on the ADS64 Extreme, it has like a bunch of um, different benchmark of processors. I like to do the CPU Queen, and I am going to do a F5 to run the port. The processor is not really here at the i7 level. Again, it is running a dual core M50, uh, not a 50, a 5Y 70HT, which is actually an Intel processor M core pro, um, TPU. And, and it's only running 1500 megahertz. That's what this program is actually identifying it. The highest right now is the 16 Xeon E5 2670, which is running at 26 megahertz. Uh, but the highest right now, CPU clocked clock speed is 4100 megahertz wow that's in it's up to 26 that's, that's not that bad right uh the next one tools uh, let's do a benchmark on actually the disk because if you're a person like me i love uh creating videos and when you create videos there's a lot of reading and writing between the hard drive now a lot of people don't like to run their files so locally on the machine they like to have like an external hard drive uh you could do that but sometimes you get a little lazy and don't want to do that. So let's run a uh, disk bench. Uh, and let's, rather than running individual ones, I'm going to do the read test suite. And let's start it. And let's see how fast the reading and writing between the solid state drive 
runs. Now it's actually going to be running, uh, right now it's running a 512, um, 1 megabyte, 2 megabytes, through 4 megabytes, 8 megabytes. Uh, so a 4 megabytes linear read, uh, it, a result is 512 megabytes, which is going to utilize 10% of the processor, which is not that bad. When it gets in, in between the middle, uh, when it starts reading uh, about 499.2 megabytes per second, the CPU goes down just just one percent. Uh, the reading at the very end, when it finally finally just gives you the results, uh, it still stays the same as in the middle right here. As you guys can see, it still stays 499. Uh, but the processor does jump up just a little bit, uh, so that's cool. Random reads, uh, 518, 13 percent CPU. Right now, it's reading the buffer. The buffer is being block size is eight megabytes. And it's 502.1 megabytes per second, and the processor is only using utilizing 13%, which is pretty cool because I'm also recording this while I'm doing this video for you guys. So I'm kind of surprised that it's running pretty cool. Now the average read access, the result is 0 0.07. Uh, I think it's milliseconds, right? Milliseconds, and the processor is only utilizing 19%, which that's not that bad. The reading and writing again is going to be extremely fast because it is running a solid state drive. Cool. So we are going to close that up. And the next performance test that I want to do on this guy is the cache and memory benchmark. So I'm going to go to tools and cache memory benchmark. And let's uh, just start the benchmark and see how it runs. Now the memory read, write, copy, give you a nice little result. Oh, that's not that bad. Uh, it looks like about, uh, wow. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. The memory is not that bad. I want to see how the L1 cache, L2, and L3 caches. The latency between the memory, reading and writing is 101.3 nanoseconds, which is not like super flash, but you know, it's it's there. Uh, 2.9 nanoseconds for the cache, L2. It looks like the machine is getting a little drag because I'm running these benchmark tests. Plus, I am running the recording so that's one of the things about my review one comments which I'm, I don't talk too much review yet because I want you guys to check out the, uh, the video because I have a lot of pros and cons and I don't know if you guys are going to agree with me uh, on this particular laptop uh, the L3 cache is only 37.4 it looks like the L1 cache it only has 2.9 nanoseconds everything else is pretty high on the nanoseconds part so that's pretty cool all right Okay, cool. So this that this is the the cache and memory benchmark. Uh, what do you guys think? You think it's pretty good or not? Uh, to me, I don't think it's that great. But let's close that up. Uh, let's do the CPU ID. If you want, guys, want to check out uh, CPU ID. Again, it is running a uh, dual core Intel Core M, which is a 5M70 model. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I can't really say because when I was playing around with the machine for a couple of weeks, I did notice a little bit of lag when I was doing certain things. It looks like the machine needs to actually uh, settle down. It, it's not okay. You start the machine up, you would think you could just use it right away, but for some reason, I had to let the machine settle for maybe ten to twenty seconds before I could actually do something. Because if I can, if I start it up and I start using it right away, I, I just notice a lot of choppiness. Uh, next thing, let's do the system stability to uh, test. So system stability, uh, this is pretty cool. So I'm actually going to stress the CPU out a little bit. Right now, I'm only running my recording software, and the CPU right now is only going to be utilized between 35 to 45 percent, which is not that bad. <laughs> I'm going to benchmark this thing to the extreme. Uh, as you guys can see, like the CPU, my Core One and Core Two. Uh, the temperature right now is between 66 to 65. Uh, the temperature of my solid state drive is only 50, which is not bad. Plus, this is touch screen. So, uh, let's hit start and see what happens. All of that, it capped off. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't affect my recording. But as you guys can see, the temperature between the solid state drive doesn't get affected. Again, we're just stressing out the processor. We're capping it out. This would be a great test. If you guys see me getting choppy during the recording, it's because uh, the processor is getting hit real hard. And 
you know, once the processor is being get hit, it's getting hit hard. That means that the machine can't handle multiple things hitting the processor at the same time. So we're gonna stop this. And the next one I want to do for you guys is a stress test on the memory. I love doing stress tests on the memory. And the reason why I like doing stress tests on the memory is because certain applications like uh, Premiere, Photoshop, Illustrator, if you're dealing with high uh, quality files or you're rendering like a huge file, you're not really utilizing processor. You're you're taking advantage of memory. So let's uh, let's start that memory up, and the processor is going 100%. Jumping up pretty high. Uh, let's uh, cooling fan. Let's check out the cooling fan. It looks like not, nothing too much. So this is being stressed out. If you guys want to check it out, I'm gonna right click, go to Task Manager, and within the Task Manager, you're gonna see like right now. Let's go to Performance, and you see my memory. Like I'm, I'm utilizing 7.5, 7.6, 96% of my memory right now. Uh, if I go to Processes right now, I got my Camtasia recording right now which is only utilizing 10.4 but the processor right now is running 98 percent so it's being capped off and hopefully my recording is not being affected at all so I'm actually gonna close and stop this and I think the last one that I that's it I think that's it guys that is uh, oh let's do the local disk because again it's a uh, uh, this is a solid state drive so let's stress the solid state drive and see how well this works out so let's stress it out a little bit and it's so strange because when you stretch it out, the processor does get hit when you're stressing out the solid state drive. It's not getting hit as much. It's a little bit. As you can see, it's going up and down, but it's like in between. Uh, I think if I leave the benchmark on for like an hour, you will see the temperature rise up extremely. Not too much, but you will see it. Uh, the processor... Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but there it was a little jump up when I started the test on the temperature of the core. Uh, it went just went up a little bit. It didn't went up a lot, so it's not like a huge jump. So I, I think I think the laptop can handle um, certain stress. It's not gonna it's not gonna like wear down. So I think Lenovo Yoga Three Pro laptop can handle certain things with no problem. Uh, as you guys can see, we stressed out the solid state drive, we stressed out the CPU, we stressed out the memory. The performance is there, excellent performance. Uh, I'm, I'm running Camtasia, which is I'm running Camtasia, which is another application that hogs a lot of memory as well as processor, and it's running smooth with no problem, no 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 crashes, no nothing. So I think this laptop could do its thing in performance. I want to know what you guys think were all the results that we have so far with the Adia 64 Extreme uh, test that we did. Leave your comments right below at the comment section. Don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support this guy as well as the video. And I'll catch you guys on the next performance test. Peace out.